Okay, Mauro, this is a project a lot of people are thinking of doing. Absolutely. There's lots of love to paint kitchen cabinets. So, I mean, they get dinged up, they get banged up, you know, and it could cost a fortune to replace them. So painting them is a great option. It's a great option, and it also will upgrade the look of your kitchen. All right, so how do we do it right? Well, first, what we're going to do, we're going to have to remove the doors and door hinges. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take the hinges off, we take the door knobs off, and we're going to number the doors when time to go back, we know exactly what they have to go to. This is easy, because our little demo here just says two doors, but if you've got an entire kitchen, you could end up with 20 doors and 20 drawer faces, and you can, you can lose your way quickly. You can lose your way really fast, but the first thing we do, we label them one by one. So we get a way to label them the way we know what they have to go back to. That's the easiest way to do it. All right, well, you want to start right. by getting the stuff off? Very good. There's one for you. one, one for me. I'll go low, you go high. I'll go high. I'll go like this here. Okay, I'm gonna label this with my door on the right. I'm gonna label number one. One. Okay, one, and we'll put an R. This will label number two, L. So once you have them off, okay, then we can start the prep work. Once we have them off, we're gonna have to degrease them. Degrease. It's a kitchen cabinet by using the boots that so has some grease on it. We're gonna remove that. Okay, check that out. A lot of grease on that already. It doesn't. It, it look clean, right? Yeah. As soon as you guys start to it, you can show it. All right, Kevin, the grease is done. Now it's time to lightly sand. We're gonna use this about 220 grit blocking sanding. Okay. And this is just so that our primer is gonna adhere? That's what the primer is gonna adhere to the surface. So the little sheen that we're getting from probably the poly on the surface of this. Absolutely, when you see the white going on right there, this white dust, that means we're doing it right. Too bad, Mara. Of course, we're only working on one cat. If we had to work on 20, it'd be a whole different story. A whole different story. A lot more people involved, too. All right, so our next step to get the dust off, get some tap cloth and wipe it out. Okie doke. All right. Look at all that, though. I mean, you know it's working when you get that. Right? Everything clean? Everything's clean. All right, so it's time to prime. All right, let's get some primer up here. All right, I got the primer right there. So your choice of primer, what do you like? Well, I like this uh, water-based interior primer. Water-based interior? Water-based prime, yes. Okay. It's a good quality one. It will stick well to the surface. And uh, again, you know, this is uh, exposed oak, raw wood. If it was paint that we had sanded down, same primer? Same primer. All right, we're gonna do all the large flat surface with the mini roller, yeah. that goes really well for that. And the areas that we can get with the mini roller, we're gonna have the brush. Okay. In terms of coverage, Morrow, what are That's, you looking for? Are you looking to get it all white or a little bit of this see-through okay? Um, I think a little bit is fine. Okay, so we're gonna follow up with the two finished coats, Kevin. Two finished coats? Yeah. All right, Kevin, prime is dry. It's time to do some painting. Top coat. Top Let's coat. Let's do it. All right. So what are you using for a top coat? So we're going to use this uh, special paint cabinet and trim and really? water-based enamel. Water-based enamel and special for cabinets and trim. What cabinet makes it special? Trim. Like what, what properties make it good for cabinetry? It's enamel. It has this hard finish that you can take the scuff and the abuse. Okay. So we got a little hard to finish. And uh, what are we talking about? We're talking satin, semi? Uh, we're talking about there's satin, semi, or gloss. This one we're going to go semi-gloss. It's semi -gloss. all about preference. Okay. Personal all preference. Right. And all the right. color name calls downtown gray. Downtown gray. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's a good color, Mauro. It's gonna look good with that counter there. Blues and grays in kitchen cabinets right now, very hot. Very hot. This goes on nice with that base coat, that primer. Really helped, doesn't it? You get coverage after the first layer, after the first coat. Yep. Well, I mean, it's a good quality paint, so we expect a lot of coverage on the first coat.
Okay, last knob right there. It's done. Look at that, huh? One base coat, two top coats. Two top coats, color goes really well with the counter, and also have this durable finish on it. Brand new life of that cabinet. Nice job, Mauro. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.